Okay, time to make a video. Spring is here, it's what the 11th of September. Um, we had some seedling trays ready to be planted here and topped up with um, homemade seed raising mix that I've been sieving through this um, black tray here. And I'm trying to get some older, st older compost I'm finding um, in old pots. And so I know they've been sitting there a while, this compost has been there a while. I found some, um, what I think is mycelium in a dry area around the back, so I'll introduce that to uh, my past plants. Um, chamomile is flowering, growing well, I've mulched it with um, pine needles that had some mycelium. I've put a cutting in here, dipped it in growth hormone, seems to, get, to be going well. But I since found out you can use aloe vera plant the gel from the leaf as a plant hormone so I've got one of them now carefully growing it um, I've mounted potatoes in here and covered them in wood chips beans are flowering very well and starting to have some beans grow you can see them where are they Um, chickens have been working in here. May bring them back in for a while. Let's clear out the rest of these chicken food weeds. Um, put potatoes in here, mounted them, covered with um, wood chips. Stone fruit trees are flowering. This, um, it's a, what is this? Is a um, Plum. It's a big plum is um, flowering. This is flowering for the first time. This is just grew here by itself. Um, we're putting in put an elderberry here. I'll grow something like this. It'll show you how the neighbors like this one does and this one. And I've planted some. Um, I forget what these are called. Three or four of these along the fence. And I'm going to grow up in a nice trunk and then put in a round ball. So in winter it blocks out the neighbors. Um, we've got a couple of raspberries that we'll get fruit off late, second crop. Um, yeah, so the chickens have been working in here and their chicken runs, moving around. Um, there's some apricots on the tree. Um, I've got way too many strawberries. I've got not enough area to plant what I've got. Um, this compost will be moved off, it's mostly grass and um, some coffee and some ashes from the fire. They'll be moved off here so I can plant them here. Oh, there's just so much going on in this garden. Um, we've got nettle growing and a few beans in here. I make a delicious tea out of that, it's very energizing. Um, bean, potato, bean needle needs to come out and made into tea beans and potatoes I've moved my cactus to a nice dry spot down here popped it in the ground so it grows roots um, I've been drinking this um, making peppermint and mint tea out of this mint do uh, some grass on it had a wonderful crop of lemons been having four lemons at a time in my drink and there's another crop coming on in this tree frost got that one a bit it seems to need to stay right back against the house same with this one and this one so i've pruned it back against the house there's another crop coming on here and here's the crop i've been um having no fruit on this at the moment this is a grapefruit so fruits at a different time there's a few lemons left on here um, Makes very really nice tea. Pineapple sage. And uh, raspberries have been trained on this wire um, rope. More potatoes. So, in here, I've got an area for the raspberry roots to grow. I've got a waterway to water. I've got mounted potatoes. And then I've covered around the potatoes with the chicken food seed mix. So, I've got three different things going on for. 
might be more in this one area. So I've got potatoes growing, chicken food growing, I've got raspberries growing. And I've got the waterway which seeps under. If it rains enough or I turn the tap on, it seeps onto the onto this greenhouse. This greenhouse was quite dry, but we've got this planted out strawberries and I've been getting the mulch done. And over here I have um courgette, um, okra, Asian Loki, which is a gourd, which is really good for diabetes, courgette, lemon cucumber, and in here, you can see there's strawberries already growing, that was really dry, so I watered immensely um, with a sprinkler, and we've got all kinds of seedlings growing in here, corn, beans, brassicas all kinds of things and they're under a bit of a shade because it got really hot it's having to water too much so when it gets too hot I'm just going to leave this on here until they grow there is a corn starting to come up somewhere oh no these are peas starting to come up yeah and I've put that end down because it was a bit cold I'm going to move that compost today to my compost slash it's actually for a worm farm there are so many worms in here they're eating the um, what's breaking down because there's a lot of woody stuff so I'm just going to continue it here the wood and um, there's also hoo hoo grubs yeah the worms are where have they gone I put some on top so I think they'll be underneath a bit there's one. And there's one there. I won't disturb them too much. I've been disturbing them a lot lately. Um, but they go where they want to go, depending on the weather, where the food is. few that can do their thing. So I'm going to move these, plant them, we have to break them off, there'll still be some roots on them, dip them in some root hormone, put them in a pot and they'll go along the fence line. Chicken growing area, chicken food area, so I shave off every now and then, thin it out. I've been getting one or two buckets a day of weeds chickens we've had the last week. We have um, cauliflowers growing in here, um, cabbages, broccoli, kohlrabi, row of garlic. Um, I've got a row of potatoes that hasn't come up yet thankfully because it was minus three. There's more potatoes along here which will be wood chipped and likely that row because I found a nice source of wood chips. Spring onions growing good. Carrot there. There is shallots in here. Um, what's doing the best? This is going to go to seed. Take soil, get the seed. Needle's got to be made into tea. I'm hoping these do. This kohlrabi bulb up a bit. You see they're going to seed. This cauliflower here is ginormous compared to the other ones. It's down there. It didn't get as much water, I think. I believe. Um, so I'm trying to mitigate that and water it. But down here. This is a huge broccoli because it's been in the shelter, you see? So that's the difference it makes, that in the shelter. And um, for some reason, under the tree, we have um, this cabbage growing a lot more than those ones down there. So I have no idea why that is. Even the second one's growing a lot more than those cabbages down there. Is it bigger when I'm planted it in? I don't know. Broccolis are growing very well and I thought these would be the slowest because they got the less sun but look at them they are growing very well um, yeah there's just so much going on needle needs to come out beans need to feed be fed the chickens have got a wonderful source of salad here mine is le lettuce it's kind of tastes like a sprout it's got those long um, stalks on them I can just come in here with the scissors and as you can see chop down and I got a salad, coriander's growing very well. I'm 
there's just so much going on in this garden. It's just awesome. I've been thinning these, thinning these um, dyke and radish for all winter. <laughs> And I got it down to a decent spacing. I've, I've moved, removed the whole lot there and I put a row of potatoes. And I'm just going to let these go bigger and a couple of them go to seed. Maybe a few of them go to seed. I've still got some more thinning you can see. There's two that are too close together. And we're eating a couple today in a soup. Uh, I put a row of beetroot in here. I've got garlic, silver beet. These are broccoli I transplanted, ended up there. And a row of garlic before the garlic came up, but that's alright. <coughs> part of me silver beet leeks are growing well these are planted these onions un organic onions bought from the shop from to go to seed so I can get the seed some garlic down the end clumping carrots in here we've been starting to eat them more carrots here planted a row of carrots here that hasn't come up and a long row of carrots here and this soil is a bit compacted I think from walking on it because it was a path these red cabbages are a bit slow so I'll see I'll see if they take off soon. Um, yeah my colour obviously seems to go to seed but I'm hoping I can still get a crop off it. But you know all well, this was growing in winter so it's like the eleventh of September. Um, chickens have been eating a lot from here all winter and so have we to be honest. We've had more um, daikon radish that we could eat all winter. Got sick of it, giving it to the chickens. We've had our pumpkins, getting sick of the pumpkins, giving them to the chicken, um, to the chickens, yeah, and to the neighbour when he gives us, they give us chicken food. Two neighbours, another neighbour dropped us mushrooms, so we're going to give them a pumpkin and half a dozen eggs. Um, and I've thinned out the old broccoli and he uh, old um, kale in here, gone to the chickens. There's some younger stuff, so the older stuff had aphids on it, so it's time to go. And it's perfect chicken food, you know, there's no problem with pests. No problem at all. And I've been thinned out the celery because I just I just shook the seeded plant the celery everywhere. So I've got some um, assistant spacing now. Some beautiful iceberg lettuce, some beautiful frilly lettuce in here. So I've, I've still got two lettuce spaces. Um, this this um, perpetual spinach is just delicious. It's just delicious. Um, kale, which is actually chicken food, but it's also good. We want to eat it. We're trying to get a lot of varieties of kale growing. Um, yeah, so all this wood chipped area has all been planted in potatoes also. Just dug a hole, put the potato in, a little bit of a mound. Wood chip to insulate it. Feed the worms, because the whole garden is a worm farm. And we've been making compost tea with molasses, um, seaweed, and a bag, a sock of um, compost, and bubble it for 24 hours, <clears throat> and repeat on the same lot of um, kelp because the kelp is it's just there's so much. you get so much off a um, small amount of kelp. These are bulbing because they've got lots of light, no weeds. And I have been thinning them to eat them. Yeah, I like this fennel, it's delicious. <clears throat> and yeah. So, a lot going on in the garden. What have we got to do next? Planting. Uh, move the compost pile from out of the greenhouse over to where the worm farm is. Um, transplant some suckers off that, off that um, and a self seeded plant off the fig. Got three or four or five of them. Um, and a few other things. But these strawberries are going to be awesome. And I've got room. Maybe I'm going to put another greenhouse up here. Almost as big as this one from the leftover plastic. I don't know how to do that. But these strawberries are going to be awesome. I can't wait. My son's going to love them. Yep. Okay. Sun's out, mood levels are better. Vitamin D's up. And I'm often out here barefoot. Connecting with the earth. And I just put my feet in some water before I go inside. <sighs> Love it.